Are you needing to set up your Yaesu FT5 radio with your local repeater? Then stick around to find out how just easy this is, right here on K4SRF Ham Radio. Hi, I'm Steve, K4SRF, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering repeater operations on the Yaesu FT5D. I'll be recovering the automatic uh, repeater shift, the reverse state, and tone calling. So stick around until the end to get all the information needed to use your radio with your local repeater. Also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell to be notified of any upcoming videos regarding ham radio. With that said, let's go ahead and begin. The first thing we will cover right now is uh, communicating via the repeater. Now this transceiver includes an automatic repeater shift function or ARS and this function automatically sets the repeater operation when the receiver is tuned to the repeater frequency. So let's go ahead and put in a repeater frequency and to do this we have to be in VFO mode. Tap your frequency here. There we go. And go ahead and enter your desired frequency. In this case, I'm going to put in 146.700, which is a repeater in a neighboring uh, county. Okay, 146.700. Now, as you can see, right above the 4 and the 6, it says uh, minus sign there, which means the offset is uh, of negative uh, frequency, which I believe is going to be 600. I believe it's 600, but I'm not sure. To test this, go ahead and just press the PTT button. Okay, 4 s red testing. And you can see it went from 146.700 to a uh, transmit of 146.100. So you can see that the ARS function is working. In the reverse state, the transmit and receive frequencies are temporarily reversed. This allows checking to find out if direct communication with the other station is possible. To achieve this, press your F menu key, then locate your reverse button right here. Now, if you don't see the REV, the reverse, either press your forward or back until you find your REV or reverse button. Press reverse. Okay. Now, when it's in reverse mode, you notice above the 4 and the 6, the negative sign is now flashing. That indicates that this radio is in reverse mode. Now, as you said, or saw previously, the uh, receive frequency is 146,700. Transmit was 146,100. It is now showing 146,100. Pressing the PTT button, you'll see it'll turn to 146,700. Okay, now it's how to test it if it's in reverse state. Now, to uh, get out of the reverse state, simply repeat your process by hitting the F menu key, reverse key again, and you're back to the mode you were in previously. If this function does not work for you, it could be that the ARS function is turned off in the setup menu. To check this out, press and hold your F menu button until your menu shows up. Go to config. Then config, scroll down using your knob. It's already on it's already there for me, but scroll up or down till you get to 14, which is your uh, RPT ARS uh, function. Press it and it'll show you whether it's on or off. If it's on, it's great. If it's off, simply turn your knob until it goes to the on position. You can hit your PTT to escape uh, this menu. Okay, to change your repeater settings, let's go back to the config button. Press config. Now this time we're going to 16. 15, 16, there we go. Repeater shift uh, frequency. Press that, and it's in right now in 600 uh, megahertz. And you can change this if you if your repeater has a different uh, setting. You can change it by turning your dial to whatever frequency you need to. I want to reset this back to 600, but that's where I'm at. To escape this menu function, press your PTT button. Okay, let's discuss tone calling. If your FT5 is a European version, 
press and hold the uh, monitor T call switch, which is located right below the PTT button on the uh, left hand side of the radio facing the radio left side. This is button right here. Okay. Uh, once you press and hold that button down, uh, the radio will generate a 1750 uh, hertz burst tone to access the European repeater. At this point, the transmitter will be activated and the 1750 hertz uh, audio tone will be superimposed on the carrier. Once you have access to the repeater, you can release the switch and use the uh, switch thereafter to activate the transmitter. Now, if you need to access the repeaters which require 1750 hertz burst tone for the access in the US and Asian versions, you can set the switch to serve as a tone call and sw uh, switch instead. To change this configuration of the switch, use the set mode by pressing and holding down the F menu key, again, until you get to your menu, and then navigating to the config, and then we're going to go to line 10. Okay, which is the monitor T call. Press that, and right now we're in monitor, but you can use your dial to switch to T call. Again, to back out of this menu function, simply press your PTT button and you're back to the main screen. This is how to set up your radio for repeater operations and how to utilize both the reverse state and tone calling functions. I hope this information has been useful to you, and again, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so, and don't forget to click the bell to be notified of any newly posted videos. I'll be covering different radio setups as well as other ham related topics. Again, thanks for watching. This is Steve, K4SRF, 73 for now, and I hope to catch you on the air. This is how to set up your radio for repeater operations and how to utilize both the reverse state and tone calling functions. I hope this information has been useful to you and again, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so and don't, don't forget to click the uh, bell to be notified of any newly posted videos. I'll be covering different radio setups, you son of a bitch.